Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today, let's get started on the ailerons. And uh, I want to hear your opinion. All right, yet another day has passed. I spent way too much yesterday thinking because it's what I do. So anyway, a uh, couple little shout outs. First of all, this is for the people that are going to give me grief because I'm not wearing this t-shirt while I'm doing this build. And you know who you are. <laughs> and the second one is, hey, I, I cleared 300 subscribers. So I thank everyone that recently subscribed uh, just to get me up over that limit. I know it still doesn't mean much but it's just another hundred so anyway let's go ahead and show you kind of what i'm planning on doing but i still want to hear your input um it is super bowl sunday i'm going to go ahead and post this video hopefully mid-afternoon um with the hopes that i can get a little bit of response because uh tuesday when i'm back down here in the shop is when the work's going to get done so it's because it, it, i've got options and i'm weighing the options so anyway let me show you where we're at all right here's where i'm at and let me just kind of go through on how i'm trying to figure out how i want to hook this up where the point's going to be uh, because in real life it's lined up with the uh, interplane strut now when i came down and made a mark with the interplane strut here it just didn't seem like it was where it should be and the problem is, in real life, these ribs are in different locations. So this is the proper location. And here was the way I found out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the, uh, the diagram eh, probably up over here in this corner. All right. What I did was I went upstairs. And the quarter scale uh, plans I've got upstairs, it put this mark at 51% of the cord and you'll see it's because i've got some it, it, it was interesting so anyway you'll see up in the picture up in the picture up there um the measurements so what i was trying to do was get a measurement from the root rib i'm calling it the root rib or the inner rib and even though this is just a block this is going to stay so uh the first one with the quarter scale plans came out to be 51 percent, which was right about up to here the second was a picture of a stop that I was able to measure the screen and that came up right about here and that's at 47 and a half percent and then I came in and found a set of plans which also will probably be eh, up at the top of the screen <laughs> that's for a real stop and on that one I measured it and the numbers I got from that was 46 percent and so lo and behold where the 46% came out to, hopefully you can see, is right there. When you come down, there we go. From the interplane strut, we're right there. There it is. So they actually put it in the right spot. It's just, it's the, uh, uh, the ribs that are throwing me off. So then, here's my options. How do I want to go ahead and do this? Do I want to put the servo on this side? and jump underneath and then come back to here and then just double up this little tail, the tail of the stringer here, make it a little bit wider so it gives me a good anchor point for the uh, servo horn. Or do I do it on the other side? I don't know of any real reason to go the extra to go the extra distance. I think I'm better off just to go ahead and build the box in this side and put it in so that's kind of about 90 percent on that one and it's also a little bit of a shorter run to here so that's probably how i'm going to do it now how do i want to attach this for the inner for, so for the actual control rod because we're going to have this servo go to here the bottom part of the aileron and then we're going to come all the way to the trailing edge of the aileron to uh, connect and go up to the uh, aileron on the top wing now control horns i searched control horns the best i could for what i was looking for couldn't find really what i was looking for so what i'm gonna probably do i've got some around here somewhere i just can't find them i've got some half a uh rc aileron control horns i think would work very nicely i can shave them down to whatever 
uh, dimensions I want, and then it's just going to have two screws set up diagonally to go through the wood. That will work out okay for what I'm doing. The problem is I don't know how much I want to trust this balsa for the torque and the pressure that that's going to be putting on the trailing edge. So, in my madness, I'm probably going to come on in and band it. Just come down to here and then loop this underneath. So it's going to be a piece. I'll set up a jig and bend it so that that can sit here, run the holes through here. So I'm transferring the load mostly to this uh, with less chance of breakage. And this could be uh, epoxied into place too once it was down. So I may do that as well. So once again, let me know. Because I was thinking of plywood and I said brass would work out fairly well too. So that's still up in the air. And then how I am going to connect the push-pull rod down to that control horn. So here are my options that I'm weighing with right now. Okay, so here's the options. It's easier to show you on this one because I need two hands to do it anyway. Uh, all right, I've got some 256 rod, and this is just set up just for demonstration and testing. It's not going to go on the plane. I've got enough carbon fiber uh, tube here um, to make this to make this work. So here's here's where we're at. This is this is where my little mind works. All right, the options are: I can go with a 256 clevis that can go right through, push up, pull down push up pull down yeah push up pull down this would work out fine okay so and I can have it set up so that I can adjust this with a with a, a 256 uh, nut to go ahead and just tighten it up so yeah I can go this route or if I really want to get st stupidly crazy I can go with this because it fits through very nicely. I can go ahead and put one of these things on with a little grub screw in the end to tighten it up and that can go through the uh, control horn as well. So these are my options. I'm hoping that came out nice because I had it jammed in a little bit too close. There we go. So I do have options. Um, I do like this in a way, but I think the other way may be better because every time this plane goes in and out of the car, um, the van, I I've got to take this rod out because I've got to take the wings off. So the other way is probably going to be the better way to go. But if you guys got any other better ideas than that, let me know. This is kind of this is why I'm trying to get everyone else involved in this as well. So. Yeah, that's that's the conundrum I've been working on for probably more than a day and a half. Just sitting down here, I haven't even started cutting out pieces of balsa yet uh, because my mind gets tangled up on this stuff sometimes, and it's just a matter of just you know jumping off the bridge and hoping that the water's deep enough when you when you hit. So um, yeah. So anyway, that's just a quick little vid. No real work being done. Just. Uh, just trying to find out what you guys would do. So, see you next time back down in the shop.